Dr. Shatarupa, working as a pediatric cardiac intensivist at BM Billa Heart Research Center. Today, we are going to discuss on infection control in the pediatric intensive care unit. So, infection control in the pediatric intensive care unit. As you know, the baby will be having multiple lines in the form of IV central lines or urinary catheter and also in the form of endotracheal tube. We, as the baby will be requiring ventilation, so we need to maintain proper hand hygiene techniques to, for preventing infection, which is a very common cause of morbidity and mortality in our pediatric intensive care unit. First of all, hand washing, which we should do before touching and after touching the baby and also the surroundings, which will be shown by our nurse. First step will be palm to palm, second will be left hand over right and right over left, vice versa. Next will be interlacing the fingers. After that, interlocking the fingers, rotational clubbing and circulatory, and at the end, tips of the fingers. So, there are six steps of hand washing. We should follow this for each and every baby. And also, we know there are a lot of lines which will be there with the baby. This is, uh, this is what is a central line. We will be usually using these central lines for giving drugs or medicines to the baby, which will be directly reaching the large vessels inside the baby's body. So these are in contact or directly with the interior of the baby. So we need to, whenever we handle this, directly from insertion of this line and also during handling of these lines, this line insertion needs to be done in a very sterile precaution, wearing proper gown, cap, mask, doing proper scrubbing and also doing, uh, when these lines need to be maintained very properly, each time we use the line, the hubs needs to be scrubbed and we need to maintain sterile proper dressing and also we need to think about removing these lines as soon as their needs are no longer there. There are also other things like a urinary catheter, which may be in our ICU will be needing a urinary catheter to, uh, to adequately measure the urine volume on an hourly basis. But right from the starting to the insertion to the maintenance of the urinary catheter, which has, has to be maintained in a proper sterile technique. During insertion, we should be when doing it very sterilely and also during maintenance, we need each day we will be giving catheter care to maintain the proper um, hygiene of the urinary catheter. And this is called the endotracheal tube which connects the baby with the ventilator. During insertion of a ventus tube which is during intubation, we have to be doing with our clean hands and whenever we connect to the ventilator, we have to be very cautious when we do suctioning of the baby. We have to use a sterile suction catheter and we have to be nursing the baby in a head and elevated position to prevent infection happening to the lungs. Mm -hmm.